There was a very young, very beautiful, very good witch. She loved life. Her life was one of magic, one of grandeur, one of opening herself to new realities daily in the fantasy she practiced. But also, since she was so beautiful and such a good witch, she drew attentions from others in her life, in day-to-day -day life, also as uh, attraction for other witches and wizards. And there was this evil, very dark wizard, and he hated the young, beautiful witch. He couldn't believe how beautiful and how good-natured and how powerful she was. So he went to his little magic room and he lit some candles. And then he said some things. Then he drank something. And he prayed all his power towards the young little witch that was young and beautiful. Instantly, she was captured by a spell. She would have delusions. She couldn't think right. She forgot to dress herself. She forgot to bathe. People that met her couldn't believe what a ugly creature she was becoming. They all tried to console her and give her advice, but none of it worked for she thought that she was so powerful that she could break the spell herself. One day she was walking and the wind was howling and there was lightning and it started to rain and the leaves were blowing and she was scared, she was paranoid. She knew the end was near. All of a sudden, as she turned around, she bumped into a man wearing a cloak. He was a monk. And he said, what's wrong, my dear? So she told him what was going on in her life. And he said, well, would you consider taking a potion? I have a certain potion that could help you and end the spell that's, that's cast over you and take you back to the beauty and the beauty of your youth and all those good things you love about being yourself. She said, yes, I will take the potion. Right then she woke up and she took her psychiatric medicine. The end of all delusion, paranoia, delusions of grandeur, false reality, fantasy, all the things that us magical beings in the mountain are dealing with. The end.